The Coral Gables Museum is proudly hosting the exhibition Beyond Swastika and Jim Crow. Based in a documentary that explores the similarities between Nazis and the racism in the American South. This exhibition focuses on the African-American students that were instructed by Jewish teachers while in the American exile during World War II. This story of these Jewish scholars going to black colleges is, is a new story. No one's ever heard of it. And so everybody's really, really thrilled with the exhibit. And we have a couple things that are going to assist um, in getting more people in the door. We're, we're tying in not just with FIU, but with Miami-Dade County Public Schools. We're offering a teacher workshop here. So teachers will learn about the exhibit and then bring their students in to learn about this piece of history also. There are so many amazing aspects of the story that the exhibit unfolds, but I think what comes across for anyone who can take the time um, half an hour to, to go through the exhibit is an amazing story of human resilience and transcending um, smallness and uh, horrific uh, discrimination, whether in Germany or, or the United States. The exhibition compiles amazing original items relevant to those difficult times in America, such as an original KKK robe, original manuscripts, journals, newspaper articles, and citations that white people were given for sharing tables with black people. One of the artifacts is a municipal citation that a, uh, an academic, a German academic, received because he joined his students sitting at a, at, a, at a restaurant counter where blacks were not allowed to sit. And because he was there with his black students, he was given a ticket and, and fined. Some of whom went on to have incredible careers in the U.S. For example, Jocelyn Elders, um, Bill Clinton's uh, Secretary of, of Health and Human Services. Uh, was a student of one of these Jewish scholars, uh, Joyce Lad Ladner, who went on to become uh, the first female president of Howard University, if I'm not mistaken. So amazing stories. This exhibition is especially important for the Corey Gables Museum because this is the first time that a large academic institution such as FIU has considered the city's museum for such an important exhibition. This exhibition is a departure from what we've ever done here at the museum. I mean, it, it's a very, very serious historical exhibition. So when FIU and the professors came here with this idea, we thought it would be great because we've never presented anything like this. And of course, when you have the um, opportunity to partner with an institution like FIU, it's it's just a no-brainer because they bring their their energy and resources to something like this as well, so we're, we're thrilled that it's here. Beyond Swastika and Jim Crow is exhibited now throughout January 11, 2015, and many activities will take place in relation to this exhibition at the museum, including lectures, documentary presentations, and more. For more information, visit the Corey Gables Museum webpage at coreygablesmuseum.org or contact them directly by phone at 305-603-8067. Reporting for What's Happening, Corey Gables, Diana Herrera.